Yeah, man, peace. So this past February, uh, the good people over at Nova Color featured me as one of their uh, black artists for Black History Month. And um, I got to share some of my favorite colors and uh, they sent me a pack, man, of some of their bundles. I got two of their bundles. These bundles uh, come in four ounce and then 16. The four ounce is about 54 bucks, something in that, in that area. And these 16 ounces, I believe, are like 150 bucks, man. I, I generally get their 16 ounces, but this is a great way. Um, this is actually the 16 ounce size. It's a great way to um, see a bunch of different colors, try a bunch out, man, and get a variety. So opening this pack, I was pretty hyped, man. The 16 ounces, you know, are really, you know, perfect size. They're long lasting and you'll be able to cover a lot of paintings. Here you have the titanium white, the raw titanium white, which is get, gives a kind of cream undertone. You have the medium green, which is one of my favorites. It has a little bit of white in it almost. It, it kind of has like a, a softer pastel feel. The Indian yellow, this is a great mixing color. You know, I like to um, put that with white. The ultra, ultramarine blue, you know, the, the coverage on this one is it's really potent. You might have to double, double it up, you know what I mean? But uh, a really strong blue. The CAD Deep Red, of course, man, this is, is going to give you a lot of good coverage. I love to use this as a background color, you know, really pop, poppy work. And then there is the, uh, that uh, Chromium Oxide Green, which is a, a great mixing color, you know, the same. Uh, and then the Hansa Yellow, light transparent, man, that's another great mixing color. Um, this is their straight up titanium white. Of course, I use that. I even prep canvases with that white. It's, it's so strong. That raw umber, their sienna. I'm a big, you know, fan of their umbers and their siennas. So in this pack, I got more earth tones. I think I have two yellow ochres here because they came in each each one of my bundles. But a great color to have to make, you know, skin tones and different things like that. And, and all of these mix and are very thin, so they they go on for great pop work and, and type and design. This is the Venetian Red, one of my favorites, man. The coverage on the Venetian Red is really dope. It's got a nice kind of burnt feel to it, almost like a, a Sienna. And then the medium violet purple, of course, another great color, man. This is one of my favorites, man. The blue green, I use this a lot. Just one of my favorite colors in general, and my all time favorite, this peach tone. It finds its way in a lot of highlights that I use and, and, and different things, man. So really great color man carbon black i i doubled up i got some large carbon and i, I believe i got a, another large mars because i use a lot of black in my typography um here you see there a pyro red super bright fiery red and then the neutral grays all the grays man brilliant I always keep those on deck use a lot of gray so i'll probably get a bigger i already have a bigger one but want to get some more of that the Venetian red again doubled up on that one and titanium white you can never have enough white I would recommend getting their largest sizes in their white and all of their blacks and of course I got a raw umber again so this is a dope set man my daughter she's already getting busy rolling out her new canvas doing that thing Alinea's art you feel me I usually uh when I'm painting in the studio she's my companion and I can basically just throw some things on the ground for her and she'll just get right to work you know always got the music vibes going in the studio that's one of the things that motivates me and keeps me uh in the space for long periods of time just listening to different music while I work you know and uh as you can see here we keep that sage and palo santo on deck you know it's always a vibe thing right you know this is if you look at a previous video go check out the video I made making this painting with the kids and uh here I'm just prepping a, a canvas I'm doing a large form it form Sade Sade I should say from the south here I go and um you know I just prepped that man and, and now this piece in the middle is something that I'm working on and uh I like to just build backgrounds before you know I start to put on my imagery so that's a way for me to just go at a canvas freely without any uh preconceived notion just kind of have a free form session on the canvas prior to putting my imagery on it man i always love to pull the aerosol out that's in the bag i catch tags put you know stencils and and just continue
continue to layer many things i paint man i just end up painting right over them you know but it's really for me about building this this wall on a canvas you know as if it's in the street you know what i mean and it's got hit by tons of writers and, and weather and time you know that's uh something i like to achieve so i have fun just painting on these canvases and i may end up over painting this entire section and you can see none of it but it's there and it exists you know aerosol and practicing you know every time i paint with aerosol i'm still trying to find ways to get better get my lines sharper cutting lines and uh, when i'm not doing any mural work this is kind of uh the way i practice man you know on these canvases and <clears throat> sometimes you know they the vibe might not work for the overarching theme of a portrait these two pieces will have portraits i'm going to do facial portraits on both of these i can't tell you who a salute to uh you know all of my folks that got commissions out i'm getting them up on the wall as we speak and um you know again this is uh also meditative for me you know painting is of course about making money and getting your work in front of as many people as possible but painting has always also been an experience for me to relieve stress and tension you know i just put a, a, a short up you know in the gym b-boy and some movement you know what i mean breaking throwing the body weight around that's the yin to the yang of uh of art to me you know doing something physical every day that's difficult and uh, you know of course getting in, in front of the wall listening to good music and, and just painting and, and having a free form session without any uh preconceived notion you know this is one of the reasons why i like that you know your john michelle basquiat to the world your keith herrings of the world was so brilliant to me because you know on the fly you know they created you know and they created in, in a way where you know they, there wasn't as much process involved you know sometimes you get inundated with the process and um that takes away from the fun of, of doing a project you know getting technique in. and of course there's some people who love that specific style of art you know the master artists you know really having process form and technique throughout the whole piece but you know the reason why i wrote in the street or even graffiti right you know was just the uh the free punk nature of it man just like kind of going for it and getting better and improving on it along the way uh, without i guess you would say without being too serious about it but of course you're serious about it but but not over critical or over analytical in your mind. So I'm just cutting some tags up. Tags, the tags end up being just color or movement behind my image, lines of drips. You know, I'll take the roller out, I hit, you know, I'll block out areas with the roller. And even for this piece, I think I'll probably end up having to block a larger section out in white and base paint to actually put my portrait on. But yeah, man, I'm gonna let you see what those look like when I get them done. And yes, is how I spent my day, man. Peace.